The way I found, was introduced to the Sanctuary Church is that it was a friend from work. It's funny, we actually ended up knowing each other from, from our past. Addiction, crime, that type of stuff. But um, called her, see how she was doing, see what was going on. She's like, hey, I'm at church, come to church. I'd been raised in the church, you know. I, I, I knew Jesus, I was raised, but I wasn't walking with him at the point. I, I had studied a lot of other stuff, a lot of new age stuff. <laughs> um, you name it, I, I looked into it. I studied it, I wanted to know it. And um, so I couldn't. I felt the presence of God without really saying I felt the presence of God in that day, in that moment. It was about an hour late, and I caught the last 15, 20 minutes of your message. And the minute I walked in, the minute I walked into this building, I felt something. And uh, at that point, it's actually really cool. At that point, I had been looking. I had been looking for a church. I had been, you know, people call it church shopping or church hopping, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it was on my heart to find a home church. So uh, I was led. God, God used a, a co-worker friend at that point to, to lead me in here. And... Uh, I walked in, ended up walking walking back in two weeks later, and never left. I watched you. You were definitely doing. You were, you were pacing, <laughs> and uh, you were delivering a message, and uh, I, I just I felt it instantly. I said, "Ooh, it feels good in here." So when I saw you at first, I'm like, "This is like a Bible motivational speaker. <laughs> this is like a holy, this is like a Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, uh, uh, Tony Robbins." You know, that that was stuff that was going on in my head that first day. So you saying give me a year really helped me land, but I came back two weeks later, and that's when I came back the second time for a full service, it was done. I felt it. This, this is where I'm at. This is home. And I didn't really know what that looked like or what that meant, but I felt it, and I knew it. Month one of being here, deciding to get into growth track, deciding to just that commitment. That commitment to myself, anybody that knew me were like, wow, you're going to, you're going to church every Sunday right now at 9.30 a.m. and then, and then go, jumping in service? Um, that was a big deal. So that, that was a commitment. That was a commitment. I wanted to know more. I wanted I was hungry for it. I wanted it. I, 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 liked, I liked what I saw. I liked what I felt. But to be honest, commitment-wise, was about two months after that, the first baptism. What God has done since I've been here is uh, he's shown me love. He's shown me fellowship. He's shown me community in ways that I've never experienced before in my life. He's shown me purity. I think we've all seen those things in our lives fellowship community but in the world there we get a perverted sense of him we get a false sense of what love really is um seeing god love people through people through fellowship through accountability through community and seeing people just loving god so much all they want to do is share that love and glory and joy to the next person um that's that's something that i've always had but i used it in the wrong realms i used it for manipulation and being able to see that, it, that a, a bunch of other people have that, but they're using it for the glory, what, what, it, what it was designed to be used for yeah. by their loving father, by their creator, um, that, that, was, that was initially what I, what I had felt. You know, that was one of the, that was a, one of the big, big turning points. What he's done to my heart, the way, the way I perceive things, the way just he, the, he's downloaded joy, he's downloaded peace. And I thought I had those things before. But when he rips things out that don't belong there anymore, and you're able to humbly serve and you're able to humbly speak and you're able to humbly see the things in life the way God sees them. You're able to look at humans as, as children of God first and foremost. And you're able to seek his will and align yourself with him. And um, he just, he honors our obedience. Well, I think of chains being broken and bondage being broken and, and no longer being captive to certain ways of thinking, certain belief systems, you know, um, when you commit yourself to God, when you surrender, he shows you some things that you've been hanging out with for so long that you don't need to be hanging out with no longer. He shows you, hey, I want to take you here, but you're hanging on to a lot of stuff that can't go where I'm taking you, you know? So, uh, and, and, and the way he heals through relationships, you know? He's taught me a new form of how to have relationships with people, you know? Uh, the pruning process is real. It may hurt, but uh, it's all worth it. It's all worth it. He honors our yes. We're human. It hurts. Sometimes it's a little tricky, but um, seeing myself surrender part areas and parts of my life, whether it be finances or work or, or family or relationships, seeing myself surrender to, the, to him fully and seeing what he does, seeing how faithful he is when he sees my faith kick in, sometimes I can't even put words on it. My relationship with God now is, it's not just an option. It's not just an idea. It's not just a thought. It's not just a concept. My relationship with God now is everything for my life. I start my day with him. I end my day with him. I bring him and make him a part of everything I do. 
Are there times where I get distracted? Are there times where I get hyper-focused on, on some things here and there? Absolutely. But I can now say that I walk with God to where I'm resting everything on him, and that's a practice every day. It looks different every day, but it only brings joy. It only brings peace. Evangelism, traveling the world. I've always had a, a, a heart for wanting to travel the world, and now I know that that desire was about the kingdom. That, the desire that's been in my heart, certain personality traits that have been in my heart that are me were designed for his glory. So now I know whose I am. A big thing, a big, a, a big thing about coming to this church and, and establishing a relationship with God, getting saved, getting set free, was really understanding a new identity, understanding how my creator created me, understanding who I am in Christ, understanding and getting an idea of the role that I get to play in the body of Christ with Christ as the head. God is moving in that place, and the minute you walk in there, you'll feel it. Wow. <laughs> Revival. <laughs> Revival is happening at this church. Holy Spirit is moving at this church. Supernatural is moving at, moving at this church.